The CES coverage is sponsored by Luxor, Las Vegas. Get to the point. Rooms start at $40. You can go over to tpn.tv for the Luxor advertisement, which is the gateway to savings. CES coverage sponsored by Audible.com, where books come alive. Listen to a bestseller on your iPod or MP3 and get a free trial at audiopodcast.com forward slash CES. CES coverage sponsored by GoDaddy.com, the leader in domain names, web hosting services. New GoDaddy customers save 25% by using promo code CES25 at GoDaddy.com. Larry, how, how are you this afternoon? I know you, you're rushing here, try to get things set up. I saw you guys, I think you guys were at uh, CES Unveiled last night. All right, no, uh, you were at Showstoppers last that's night, right? right? We were at Showstoppers. Okay, great. So, folks, I have, uh, boy, Larry Pensack, is that that's correct? Right. And he's the president of uh, monitor to go or, or mo- and basically presenting a mobile, a mobile monitor using a display link technology. So he's still booting here, and we'll we'll wait to uh, you get completely up. Oh, I think you're close. Okay, so we'll uh, we'll let you get that started. So let me explain a little bit about display link. So those of you that are not familiar with display link technology, and basically what display link allows you to do is to have a second monitor attached to a laptop via a USB cable. Um, Sometimes if you have a monitor that is not display link capable, um, what will happen is is that you'll have to use a a module in between. But now there's more and more monitors that are starting to come on the marketplace that have the display link module actually built into um, built into the actual monitor itself. So all good things are a challenge when you're trying to rush, isn't it? There it goes. Okay. Thanks. So what we have, okay, Jack, go ahead and bring me up on the cam. Uh, Okay. And And first of all, first of all, I know you've been rushing it, and welcome to our live event. Thank you. And what we have on the table here, folks, is is that Larry has a regular laptop. He's just using a standard uh, major brand laptop. And he's, he's got his desktop up there. And he's got just a single USB cable. That's right. It's, it's USB-A to USB-B. Yep. And it connects any laptop or desktop computer to our monitor. And what I'm doing right now is I'm just booting up. Oh, I see here. I actually have it configured to be a mirror image of my um, Right. Of my desktop. So I'm going to I'm going to change that. So it's an extended desktop. Exactly. So I'm going to just change that here. Oops. And what you're looking at on the cam is the is the second uh, the second display. Now, what's important here to, is look is it looks like it's a laptop. But it's really not a laptop. All it is is a monitor with a base. And it's got a couple of USB ports on it. It's got the, I think you're going to show me, but it looks like it's got the ability to go into kind of almost a tablet mode as well. Right. So basically what we did was we designed the product to slip right into a laptop case right. next to your laptop. And it's for people who use multiple laptop, uh, multiple monitors, monitors in their office or in, in their home. And when they travel, they don't have the ability to use a second monitor. Right. So we developed this. And... It's very lightweight. It weighs about four pounds. Oh, that's that's yeah. That's uh, that's very light. And basically, when you open it up, the the process of opening it allows you to keep the uh, screen protected. Right. And I think I don't know that. Did we lose the USB plug? Probably. Uh, or we did we lose the power plug to it? Looks like it's just slipping out a little bit. Well, there it, there goes. it goes. So basically. We can take the uh, the, the, the mo- screen, and oh. if we fold it back and rotate it like this. Now you've got almost a, just like a tablet. Watch mm-hmm. this. We now, on the back, we have this oh. handy-dandy little stand. You we turn it are around. smart on this, my friend. And now I have a, a portable monitor. Let's uh, see if we can. How's that? Sorry. Yeah, it's, we're stretching the cables hard here, but... And now yeah, I can there, just Jack's m- got it on the on the second camera. We're good. I just bring a, a you know I can bring another window yeah, over here. Yeah. I can show video. I can do uh, Outlook in one and Twitter in the other. Yep. You know the internet, whatever it is. 
simple product, it's just a second monitor. And uh, what's really interesting is that you can connect multiple monitors together right. too. So we can actually daisy chain up to six of them. So um, it's six on USB 2.0. Correct. And you can only go, what's the highest resolution you can go on USB 2.0? These monitors are 1280 by 800. So that's still a significant amount of desktop space, 1280 oh, by yeah. 700, yeah. And um, we've been having uh, videos playing like from, from iTunes, um, and they're great. And right. I can show you that if you want. Or um, we've had multiple windows open. I can open up as many as you want. Yeah. And it's, uh, it's easy. You know, and, and it used to be that when Display Link started, you had to have a little module. If you didn't have a monitor that didn't have the Display Link uh, technology embedded to go in between to a monitor, but now, see, I travel a lot. I travel 100 days a year. Oh boy. And generally, I travel with two laptops. Now, there is some function on why I need two laptops, because I do a show on the road, mm -hmm. and I, the way I, I do, but there's often time I'm just exasperated because I really could, and this is going to sound weird, even with two laptops, I could use a third monitor while on travel. So this for me, and then that's light enough, that I could probably even buy a little protective case and that would actually go in my suitcase. Oh, interesting. And then I would take the two laptops and then that, so I wouldn't have to go with security with, because the right. TSA is going to see that. They're going to think, that's another laptop. That's right. They're going to make me pull it out and do a separate scan, which is not a big deal because a lot of people do it anyway. But at the same point, this here to me is, is, is awesome. Now, is this ready for market? Actually, we have two different models. Today, we're introducing this model, which is called monitor to go right. It has no keypad. We also have a version with a keypad, um, and it's a numeric keypad, and it's really for the accountants and people who use a lot of numbers. Typically, on, an, uh, on a laptop, you don't have a, a built-in keypad. Right, right. So, in the base, we have a keypad. Um, oh, I could nice. show it to you. Um, so, you actually put a keypad in the base so that if you needed to have the so here's the unit. Right. So it looks exactly the same. Yeah, bring that right up on the center camera, Jack. Until you open it up. Oh, and then there's a keyboard. And there's the, key the keypad. So, so essentially, I could set that right next to the laptop and use that. Exactly. Like, oh, 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 oh. So this unit is called Field Monitor Pro, and it's available right now. Right. And the new unit without the keypad, which is uh, Monitor to Go, will be available probably around May. Around May. So this. So that's available? I'm this sorry. one's available now, now. with it, the keypad. Okay. And uh, it's interesting because we actually designed it for accountants and auditors because the auditors were leaving their office where they had two monitors set up. Right. And they would go to a client's location and camp out for three yeah. days to two weeks or a month. Okay. And, and, then, and then people saw this and said, I don't need the keypad. Exactly. A lot of people said, oh, this is just what we're looking for. Can you make us a model without right. the keypad? What's the price point on this? 289, 289 for the one with the keypad, 279 for the one without the keypad. Oh man, this is, this is perfect. Now I tell you what, you really want a little marketing strategy? Find a manufacturer that can build a hard case for that. Just a little mini hard case, enough to protect it to travel. It's a good idea. Although what's interesting is when it's in this, in yeah. this mode, you're actually protecting the screen, that's, which is why we designed true. it. But you're right, in terms of a... Uh, backside. That's, yeah. right. that's right. Or, you, or you, if you build it so it has a little harder shell on the backside, so it's a little more durable. Be, you know, it all depends on each person's going to have a different travel use for it. Right. Some people right. don't want to travel with two laptops, don't have the need to. But great price point, great product. I mean, man, it brought a smile to my face because I instantly knew, oh man, now I really can have... And it, it, I'm a geek. So you, you got to get one of these, Todd. Absolutely. This is this is uh, this is probably my. I've seen three things today that I want. So I'm up to about a thousand dollars in expenditures <laughs> from the show. So. Well, it. I, I find that when I travel and I go to hotels or business meetings, I can't go without yeah. my uh, second monitor now. Now I saw something from D-Link yesterday where they're starting to introduce the USB 3.0 stuff. Mm -hmm. Now, the USB 3.0 monitor that they had, that they were plugged into, or actually the USB 3.0 demo that they yep. were doing, because there's really not very many, very, I don't even know if there's any laptops with the USB 3.0 yet on the market, right. but they didn't need an extra power plug right. for the display. They could power the monitor from, so the only real advantage is, is once they get the USB 3.0 stuff comes into market, then you guys can re reconfigure stuff and probably go 
without the the secondary power cord. I think you're right, Todd. The, it turns out that with USB 3, one of the advantages is that you get more throughput of power. Right. You also get more throughput of video. True. But with the USB 3 and probably combined with an LED screen mm -hmm. as opposed to an LCD screen, yep. which uses less power, we'd be able to eliminate the uh, power brick. But right now the power brick is a universal power brick, Great. so whether you're traveling anywhere in the world, you just get the adapter yep. for, the, uh, for the plug. Well, this is Trevik, and thank you for coming. Thank you, well, where do we? It. What website do we find you at? Our website is www.mmt, and then the number two, dot com. MMT, the number two, dot com. Great domain name. So Terrific. Thank you so very much. Thank you, I appreciate and, it. And uh, can't wait to see this. Th that one there available. Send me an email when it's out, and I'll, I'll order one right up. Absolutely. We appreciate your time. Thank, thank you so much. That's cool stuff. That, that is, that's what I come, this is why I come to CES, is to see this kind of stuff here. You know, obviously very practical. You know, and, you know, you think about how many times do you want an extra monitor. For those of you that just travel with a single laptop, you'd like to have that little extended desktop space. You know, oh, if you spend any time in a, as much time in a hotel room as I do, that, uh, that is just, uh, phew, sold. Sign me up. I'm 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 in there.